Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today we're going to be talking about selling gift cards through your online store. Uh, if you've been following me, it's no surprise. I talk about Shopify a lot. Uh, one of the reasons being is because Shopify has so many great uh, apps. They have so many great perks. Uh, it's a great way to grow your business and there's so many different themes and I can go on and on, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and also different lending opportunities. Um, but today I'm going to be focused on selling gift cards through your Shopify store. So if you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. Now, one of the reasons that uh, sparked my interest in making this video is because the holidays are right around the corner. Um, we're already in, what is this? the middle of September. So uh, within the next few months, you know, we're going to start having some of our um, most, you know, popular and then a lot of people's favorite holidays, you know, uh, Thanksgiving will be coming up, Christmas will be coming, New Year's, Black Friday, Cyber Monday and things like that. And so I thought this would be a great time uh, for everyone to kind of get ahead of the game, start pre-planning as far as what ideas and what visions you have for your business, what products you're going to be offering during the holiday season, what discounts or promotions. And so uh, a lot of people do shop for gift cards. And so uh, when I first switched over to Shopify, I had a higher plan than I'm on currently. Uh, Shopify offers different plans. So you have a Shopify basic plan that's currently $29 uh, a month. And then you have various plans that offer you know, different uh, capabilities and perks based on your business's needs. Uh, gift cards is not, that option is not available in the basic plan at this time. So you will need to go to a higher plan. However, if you are wanting to offer gift cards to your customers, then that is something that you definitely can do on the Shopify platform. So if you haven't switched over to Shopify yet, if you uh, are considering or ready to start your website to sell your product, then feel free to go ahead and click the link at the bottom of this video um, and go ahead and start your free trial through Shopify or go ahead and select the plan that best suits you and your business at this time. So like I mentioned, uh, when I first switched over to Shopify, gift cards were available and I really enjoyed offering gift cards because a lot of people, when they are doing their holiday shopping, they look for gift cards. They really don't buy too many gifts. And I can be, you know, I, I can understand that um, with my, my children. When they were younger, they wanted a lot of gifts. And as, you know, the older they become, they're wanting gift cards. And so having gift cards available for purchase is definitely a way that can increase your orders. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of read over uh, some of the information pertaining to the gift card. So a gift card is a special type of product. Its value can be used as payment toward future orders from your online store. Uh, the gift card feature is available on the Shopify plan and above. So like I mentioned, it's not available on the Shopify base or on the basic plan, excuse me. Um, you will have to go up to at least the Shopify plan. You can sell a gift card like any other product. And then you can also issue a gift card for free as a reward or incentive. Um, so like I said, you know, especially during the holiday seasons, I can truly attest to shopping for gift cards. And a lot of times our customers have, you know, the same thinking pattern that we have. Now, not all the time, but sometimes. Um, and so if this is something that you wanted to offer just around the holiday season, you can do that. You can definitely upgrade. You can change your plan whenever you feel like it. You can go back down to the basic if you decide that, hey, you know, I'm really not interested in selling gift cards next month. But I can tell you that this is a really, really good feature to have. And I was actually able to sell some gift cards uh, when I was on a higher plan. And so how it would work is it would be like a typical order. I would get a notification to my phone that someone ordered a gift card and I wouldn't have to package any of the hair up or anything like that, obviously, because it wasn't anything that I was actually sending out through the mail. Uh, they would receive the information to their email. And this is kind of how the gift card looked. Now with the gift card, it is considered a product. So if you from if you are familiar with selling your products already, you know, through Shopify, um, and you're familiar with how the order notifications work, and you know, you're familiar with kind of the, you know, the system and, and, and how Shopify typically works when you receive an order, then this is no different. Um, you'll go in and you'll collect or select a gift card through your product. You'll be able to um, have a picture pop up. 
You'll be able to type in your own description and place it on your store for purchase. So you can also go ahead and customize the discount like it's explaining here in number four uh, with the title, description, images, and things like that. And also the denominations, you can choose which currency uh, you would like your, discount, your gift card to work towards. Now keep in mind, like we touched on briefly in the beginning, you can also use this gift, gift card as an incentive. So if you wanted to do a, a certain type of discount around the holidays uh, for, you know, you order over this amount of uh, hair and you get a $20 or $25 uh, gift card in return for doing that. So whatever you can think of, whatever way you want to be creative on your online store and use uh, the discount to your advantage and to also give back to your customers would be ideal, would be great. But like I also mentioned, a lot of people also go to websites specifically looking for gift cards, especially during the holiday season. So I just wanted to lay that on the table that this is a great, great opportunity to add something else to your store that doesn't really require you going out and purchasing anything. Um, you really don't have to go out and you know invest in any more inventory. Yes, it is going to be a higher plan, but the higher plan also gives you different perks uh, and different benefits. Now, you can also customize how you want the gift card to pop up in different search engines. And um, you can see here, it's kind of touching on the product availability. You can also have access to the calendar feature. So you can decide when you want to publish the gift card, when you want to make it available, and when you don't. So even if you upgrade to a higher plan from the basic and you do have access to enable the gift card feature uh, as a product, you don't necessarily have to keep that on your online store for the entirety of that plan. You can definitely choose how long you want that to be an option. So right here, it's just showing you how to add a new gift card product denomination. So if you wanted to change that, this is just giving you a step-by-step -step on how to do that. Uh, Shopify is really, really good with instructions and directions and just kind of like leading you uh, down the, the right path as far as how to get things done. So it, they're not just going to say that this is something that's available, but they're actually going to show you how to enable it on your store. Uh, if you have any questions with changing any part of the settings or the features uh, or the pictures or anything like that, nine times out of 10, all the information is available in the Shopify Help Center. That's actually where we're at right now. So if you forget any of the information, if you decide to go ahead and download um, or upgrade, I apologize, upgrade your plan to the Shopify or higher and you decide to actually use a gift card as a product or an incentive and you're like, hey, I just need more information, you can definitely go over to the Shopify Help Center and find all this information there. Now you can also publish the gift card to a certain sales channel. So um, if you do have an existing Shopify store already, I've made a few videos uh, just kind of going over how to add products. So if you've added products to your Shopify store, then you've probably, um, you probably saw uh, an option that says sales channels or a section that says sales channels. And so um, that page, that part that we just skimmed through was kind of going over that section um, in, in reference to having a gift card and a certain sales channel on your store. Now, it also explains how you can issue free gift cards. Now, I think that's a really, really cool option. Like I said before, a lot of times during the holidays, you'll see like a, a discount or a sale going on. Um, but there's also different type of sales where you would need to purchase a certain amount in order to receive a discount. And keep in mind, you know, during the holiday season, everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people are in the giving spirit. And so um, even if you have something on your website where, you know, you purchase this amount, like I just went over, you get $25 back or you get $50 back. That's a great incentive to attract uh, more customers to your website. Now, of course, you are in control of how much the gift card is going to be uh, worth. So you can go ahead and change that through your, your settings uh, on the Shopify store. 
Now, your customers are not able to check their balance. So if they wanted to check their gift card balance, they would need to um, either contact you via phone, email, text message, whatever way you have as a means of contact to through your customers or to your customers would be the way that they would need to reach out to check their gift card balance. Uh, and Shopify gives you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to check balances as well. Now, this is a, a part that I really, really got excited about because you can actually offer physical gift cards as well. So um, like last year around this time, I was in a salon and I really, really wish that I would have um, used this feature as far as actually obtaining a physical gift card to have some in my um, salon or even to offer that for certain styles or to offer that for... Um, you know, certain days or, you know, I could have been creative with it. And so I wanted to bring this to your attention that it doesn't have to just be a gift card via email. Although there's nothing wrong with sending the gift card via email, there's nothing wrong because a, a lot of people, if they're looking for a gift card through your website, um, they may be used to shopping online and the people that they're buying or the person that they're buying the gift card for may be used to that as well. So don't underestimate the, um, you know, the, the, the benefit of actually sending out a gift card via email, but also, you know, keep in mind that there's another option as well. You can do both. You can offer a physical gift card if you're actually in a brick and border business or, you know, in a salon, or if you actually want to send out a physical card, and then you can also offer a gift card code and, you know, the gift card information via email. So uh, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. Like I've been saying, I think it's a really, really cool feature. Go check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.